Jag är på väg hem nu. Ja, jag tar bussen. Ja, men om en halvtimme ungefär. Okej. Okay. The project started with a question to design a bus stop of the future that was smart and also very environmentally friendly. We sort of reframed the sustainability question there by creating a bus station that would enhance the waiting experience or also actually the public transport experience because we felt we could make a much bigger impact to the environment if we can in the long term make the use of public transportation very attractive. So this bus station is alive in that normally you would have to look for a bus if it's coming but this bus station tells you actually that the bus is coming. So you can lean in one of those pods and just be really relaxed. You can even close your eyes and then you will hear a sound when the bus is coming and you will also, when you look at the ceiling, you will see the colors of the bus line that is actually coming. We wanted to transform that waiting, wasteful moment of time into a moment of quality time where you can reflect on the things you've done that day at work and also make a transition to the things you will do at home or at sports, for instance. Men det är ganska avkopplande att stå och slappna av en stund så där. Det är ganska skönt efter en jobbdag som innan kaoset hemma. Ja, alltså det här tänkte jag väl att det kan ju vara skönt att vila mot. Och särskilt om det blåser kan man ju vrida bort sig från vinden. So the pods really came from the observation that people like to lean against surfaces instead of sitting on something. And at the same time, they were also our climate proof answer because we realized it's not so much about heating, but it's much more about keeping the wind out. We live in a very technological time where we spend a lot of time on computers and working with data and it's very mind driven in a way. And we often forget what we can actually do with our bodies. It's also really good to do stuff with the body and to solve problems with the body, let's say. And that's what I try to do in my design projects. Man är väl kanske lite för stressad vid sitt eget bästa dag generellt, så om man kan slappna av på något sånt här så behöver det inte det illa. Sen vet jag väl inte riktigt om jag kan göra det än, för jag har inte åkt den här nog ofta. Men kanske, kanske inte. So this bus station really is a prototype. There we tried a lot of new things, like linking the bus data to lighting and sound, developing those pods that didn't exist before. But the main lessons are really still to be learned, because what we are obviously interested in is how people will use it. And if it actually will make the impact that we hope it will make, namely that people will use the bus more often. So the bus stop is a prototype that hopefully will spark a conversation among the people that will use it. But I also hope that this, as a research project, contributes to the knowledge in the field of mobility. And hopefully that knowledge will be used in the future uh, in building more intelligent cities, which is not necessarily just more technological, but it's more intelligent in the sense that they will serve uh, humans and nature in a better way, in a more sustainable way.